folks you've been saying you wanted to see more fishing challenges and I've got the perfect fishing challenge the tiny lure fishing challenge and this is a perfect time of year for this particular challenge because all the bass that were born in the spring now they're all about five or six inches and they're roaming around the lake schooling up together and chasing bait and there's schools of them you know and lakes across Alabama and I, so this will be a perfect fishing challenge for this time of year for those small fish and what I'd like to do is pick I've got 10 lures here some you know we got some shad style baits right here we've got some topwater mice here and here we got a couple different frog style baits popping frog and a regular frog we've got a horse fly a bumblebee and last but not least a small crawfish so we're going to take these 10 lures and the challenge is to catch a fish on five out of the 10 lures and what i'd like to do is if i can complete this challenge then I'm going to send these lures to another YouTuber. I've already got a good one in mind and see if they can complete the challenge. So it's my job to get out there tomorrow morning, catch five fish on these lures. And then if I don't, well, either I'm just a bad fisherman or this is a bad challenge idea. So let's just, I'm about to get them rigged up. We're going to hit the water in the morning and see if we can complete the challenge. And this is just to kind of give you a reference on how tiny these lures actually are. I mean, they are a little bitty. I'm probably going to have to rig them up on spinning reels and just hope they have enough weight on them to cast. There we go. First fish on, and it is a bluegill. Does not count. It's got to be a bass. I'll tell you what, I really like the action on this little fly here. Let him go. Don't think we'll have any trouble. It's got a good vibrating action. So I don't think we're gonna have any trouble getting a small bass on this one. All right, finally got some schoolers here. Should be able to pick up one. Got a little bite and a little bite. Got him. Fish on. <laughs> All right. First bass in the boat. We'll take it. He had it in there sideways. Fish number one of the tiny lure challenge. They came up schooling. So that lure is done. A little shad bait. That's probably the exact size little thread fin shad that that one was chasing. So one down. Fixing to try some top water, especially that little mouse. All right, guys. I caught a major audible. I was struggling this morning. I got some bites, but I didn't quite complete the tiny lure fishing challenge. So I got on the phone with Liz. Called in backups. Got Liz out here. I know between me and her, we can both do it. So now we've actually changed it to a challenge between me and Liz. And then if we can complete it, we'll also get another YouTuber to do it. So being the gentleman that I am, I untied everything. And I'm going to let Liz pick her five out first. So Liz, go ahead and tell me which five you want. That one. Shad. Rat. Pink rat. Topwater frog. That's three. You need two more. Crawfish, baby crawfish. All right, that's a good choice. I like that one. Mm. And number five, this one. another shad bait. All right, we're going to get these tied on. We're going to restart the counter. We're out here at a new little pond, and we're going to see if we can each catch five fish on baby tiny lures. You ready? I'm ready. All right, she's starting the crawfish. I'm starting tiny mouse. And we're off. Thought it'd be a perfect little spot right up here. We got current flowing in through into this little pond. I feel like there should just be a bass sitting right there, waiting on a little minnow or a little shad to come through. Maybe a little mouse.
Oh, here he is. Got him. Liz hooked up. <laughs> one to one. She's not gonna let me get far ahead in this one. Caught it on a little trap, little shad looking trap. Nice one. Another five or six ounce or all right, we are tied one to one. Oh, there he is. Oh, 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 I'm winning. I'm winning. Size doesn't count, does it? <laughs> Quick update. I just had a quick nibble on that, but didn't get it. Liz is over there with a lunker. Let me hold it. Let me get a good shot of that one. Yeah, on the crawfish. Nice job. So she's up two to one. Just let him go. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm about to line it up. Yep, and there he is. <laughs> These little fish, all they do is run around and eat. Count it, he's in the boat. All right, that's my number two, so me and Liz tied up, two to two. He's got a little greenish tint right there on his back. It looks pretty cool. Chasing bait. I like it. Two to two. All right, I got the game changer on. The horse fly. They're getting even in front of the boat up here. Oh, got one. Number three is on. Get in the boat. Look at them schooling everywhere right out here. <laughs> All right. The horse fly. In the mouth. All right. That's number three on the horse fly. All righty. I'm going with this chunky little fella. sitting right in there waiting on it. There's, there should be bass everywhere in there. Hey, they're feeding now. Here we go. Got one. Sir, number four on the little chubby wobbler crankbait. We'll take it. That's number four. Bumblebee. All right, nice job. Three in the boat. So I've got four, she's got three. Let's try to finish this challenge up. Uh oh. Liz has got a little baby mouse. Let's see it one time. She got, she got a little baby pink mouse on, got a bite on the first cast. Mm -hmm. Those topwaters are catching a little bit better size, aren't they? All right, that's her number four. She lacks one to finish this challenge. Oh, he's on it. This is a bigger fish right here. Holy cow. Get over that log. Jeez. 
Oh my goodness. This is the best way to end one of these challenges. I can't believe that. That fish hit it. He came up and knocked it off of that log. This is actually a decent fish right here. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> oh, and look, even he's even got one baby shad down in his mouth. That is a crazy way to end this challenge. Wrapped it up around. Oh, he's got like four or five of them down in there. Look at that. This is what this is what those fish have been eating. I mean, tiny, tiny little shad, or I don't know what that is. Maybe baby bluegill. But that was probably the first frog he had ever seen in his life. And what a crazy way to end the challenge for me. That's unreal. That's a nice little chunk right there too. So, gonna put this one back. You continue to eat frogs, and I guarantee you, you will be a future 10 pounder. <laughs> Number five, challenge completed. <laughs> On the little frog. Hey, that was a fun challenge right there. Go ahead and get him back in the water. Tiny lure fishing challenge, several top waters, some little bugs. We made it happen. I called in Liz for reinforcements. She came out here, caught five. I caught five. Guys, this is a really fun time of year to get out here and fish. As you can see, school and activity everywhere. They're busting right here behind me as I speak. And that's just one of those things. These juvenile bass, they've never seen artificial lures. They're out here chasing small bait everywhere. And they're just having fun eating like crazy, gorging. That's how they get to be big. And it's a really fun idea to get out here and use these tiny lures and actually catch them. You wouldn't be able to catch them with oversized lures. So that was a fun challenge. Um, I got someone I'm going to call tonight, and I think we're going to ship these lures to them. That part will be coming up soon. We'll see if he agrees to it. And... We'll see how many YouTubers we can get to do this tiny lure challenge. Alright guys, I'm almost done editing this video and I just got off the phone with a friend of mine, Tyler Anderson. And his YouTube account is Tyler's Real Fishing. And he's the guy that I'm going to send these lures to and he's going to do the tiny lure fishing challenge. So go check out his channel. He catches some really big bass out in Texas. And we're going to hope he catches some really small bass in this upcoming video. But check him out. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. And hopefully he can complete the challenge and then send the lures to another YouTuber. So we'll see how far this can go. And until next time, guys, good luck out on the water.